So now that I've addressed MRAs, I now want to address the feminists. After all, gotta keep things fair, right? So first off, before I go any further with this whole video, I just want to make a note that for the most part, I am in the camp of the feminists. I'm kind of with you people. You know, I mean, MRA video, right? Um, but with your movement, we have a problem, and it's very similar to the problem that the MRAs have, but it's different at the same time. It comes from extremists. While you have less of an overt issue with them than the MRAs, wherein that you have a lot more legitimate, realistic points that are being made by your members. Your extremists are so far this direction that it's mind-boggling. With the MRAs, you usually have the issue of them pretty much being sexist pigs, you know, but on a more traditional level, it's pretty standard, women in the kitchen, that sort of thing. Offensive as it is, it's you know, sort of old-school sexism. With the extremists on the feminist side, though, we get discussions of such things like, you know, male concentration camps and enforced castration and the elimination of the entire male gender. And, holy shit, like, are you kidding me? When we have this level of extremism, it's mind-blowing. It's like, there's a right answer, there's too far, and then there's five steps further, and that's where your extremists are. <laughs> and this is an issue that needs addressing. Because, quite honestly, just like with the MRAs, I don't see enough people standing up to the extremists in their own groups here. I'm not saying that all feminists are the hate, you know, men-hating, genital-mutilating monsters that cry out for anything that looks like a man to be killed or castrated. I'm not saying that at all. What I am saying, though, is that when I have encountered those sorts of feminists on message boards and real life, whatever, very rarely have I noticed that other feminists will take a stand against that. They, they generally will let it go. They'll just be silent or kind of back it up, say, well, I don't quite agree with that, but... And, or just make excuses for why they feel the way they do. And I'm not going to sit here and say that women haven't had a bad time or that they, some women haven't really, I guess you could almost say, earned the right to be so hateful because of terrible experiences they've endured. I get that. There's been a lot of women who've endured a lot of bad things, and it's, it's understandable that they'd have a colored view of this whole topic. But we need people to sit there and say, well, I'm sorry to disagree with you, but that's wrong. You can't eliminate an entire gender in what is a holocaust. That's, I mean, I almost feel absurd just saying that, because I would feel that everyone could agree that we don't need to do that. But here we are, having this conversation, and it's sort of sickening in a way because I want to sit there and say I am fully in support of feminists. They have, you know, women have gotten a bad deal through history and time and they still have many legitimate issues and bad things are going on. And yes, that's all true, but I can't take a stand with a group that allows that sort of extremism to fester unchallenged. And it's why I don't call myself a member of a lot of movements and groups that I feel sympathy for because... It, it almost seems to be a flaw with groups in general that c rally around a common cause and feel opposition, which is that no matter the extreme nature of the views of their brothers, their friends, their sister, however you want to phrase it, they want to stick up for them because it's us versus them. Oh, well, yeah, this one feminist has this terrible view, but she's still a feminist. She's part of our cause, and we've got to stick up for her. Well, no. No, 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 that's not how you should be playing this game. If you want your message to be taken seriously, you have to not only stand up for what is right, you know, the moderate views and the ideas behind feminism about sexual equality and an end to slut shaming and all these other ideas that go into it, but you also have to sit there and say, we do not believe these things that this small and unfortunate group of our society believes, the whole extreme feminism thing of, you know, men camps and all of that. 
And again, I don't want to judge an entire movement based on its extremists, and especially in this case where I feel that the majority of feminists, the vast majority of feminists, have a level head on their shoulders with their cause. But I feel a disappointment when I see even very recently I had an experience in a chat forum of feminists where there was one of the male-hating feminists who were decrying the existence of men in total. Just, why are men here? They should all die, blah, blah, blah. And None of them really wanted to step up to the plate to challenge those ideas. No one wanted to really sit there and say, well, yes, we're both feminists, but holy crap, have you taken it to a level that's so far beyond. And if you are a feminist and you do take these sorts of stands, I'm not trying to say you don't exist. I'm just trying to say that, unfortunately, I don't see it enough. And again, anecdotal evidence, but... It, it leaves an impression. Because unfortunately, and I think this is a point people forget so much, it is the most extreme voices that garner the most attention. Even if they are in the less than 1% of a minority of your group, they will still garner the most attention. So it is worth your time to not only champion your cause, but to define it based on what it is not to. Just something to think about.